hello to all of the beautiful souls watching thank you so much for clicking on this pick up art video this one is going to be all about um what is coming into your life very very soon so this is going to be in regards to love in regards to finances or any other message um that pops out um yeah so we got three options again and i'm going to be channeling messages from my spirit guides so yeah um choose whichever option is calling out to you the most you can definitely choose more than one choose the ones that you're being drawn to the most take a deep breath relax and see which option is calling out to you the most the first option is the cat spirit the second option is the frog spirit and the third option is the bee spirit the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below and with that let's move on to the option number one the cat spirit okay so if you choose an option number one or the cat spirit um what i am sensing for you is firstly um i feel that for some people you are probably stuck in a relationship or you were stuck in a relationship which did not give you happiness and more than happiness i think it was also about value so i feel that you felt mistreated and um, for some people it's regarding cheating and like you got hurt yeah you got hurt in something like you know it was a relationship and you just got hurt and I see that you are cutting yourself out of that and you're getting to a much better state and that relationship was something which kind of made you a whole lot confused I see and it could be with um, someone who is like really romantic and in the beginning you thought that yes things are gonna work out and like you both had a mutual understanding and stuff i don't know who this person is this person could be from the past or this person could be someone who is currently in your life or you just exited the relationship so it could be any scenario to be honest however um because it's a, it's a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone in the same manner so take it how it resonates um i feel that you're just gonna get out of that situation if you haven't already and i feel that you're going to be working towards your career um if you're okay number seven is quite significant something very striking or major happened around september um cancer someone is a cancer someone is quite sensitive someone is very emotional someone is very in tuned with their emotional self um yeah if that makes any sense however um I'm sensing that number seven is quite significant if you see that a lot. Number seven and number four. So if you see triple fours or like triple seven, um, that is a significant message. That's like something that the universe or your spirit guides are going to do to get your attention. However, I feel that, and if you see dolphins or like, yeah, if you see dolphins, that's a sign and it's a fish i don't know what the name yeah i don't know okay so if you are like really focused in your career right now and like you're quite determined um and you just got out of a state where you felt quite a lot confused and you didn't know what to do and like where to go i feel that um you're soon going to hit um like you know hit your first goal or like hit the first wave of success i don't know but like you're doing great in your career that that is something that that's really striking over here and yeah it's like negative motivation really works for you i would say but like you know what you really got inspired from that and you wanted to work on yourself so i don't know what that relationship was all about but you just got out of it if it's not a relationship to be honest it could just be something like a bad time or like not such a great time and you just got out of it and you decided to focus on your own work and um yeah so that is something significant and another thing i'm sensing is you are waiting for something for quite a long time already 
you've been waiting for something number seven is quite significant i don't know what this is about but you've been waiting for so long like yeah it's been unreal and you have been wanting something for so long and there's been a lot of confusion okay so whatever change you want whatever progress you want you just feel stuck okay you feel stuck and like things are not really moving things are not really progressing especially the way you want them to so i feel that things are finally going to be moving um i see like two months two weeks or like two days it could be anything it's going to be um specific to you know different different people but yeah um i see something's going to change around two months for a lot of you and this waiting energy is like it's very much stuck it's making you feel stuck and you could be stuck in a situation with someone or you're probably just feeling stuck by yourself i don't know what this is about but definitely there's a lot of confusion and a lot of conflict this conflict could be uh, caused by some external or like some people around you or this could just be something which is caused by like you know caused from overthinking and stuff um you're soon gonna get clarity on that um this is something i'm sensing and yeah i feel that you're gonna get out of that state don't worry about it you are going to get out of that state whatever you are waiting for or like if you're feeling stuck it's not gonna last trust me it's not it just feels like it's been so long and it's going to take forever but it's not trust me it's not and yeah another thing i'm sensing is for some people if you're trying to find like your life path some people are very deep over here um someone could be a virgo someone could be an aquarius um and an aries i feel regardless of that i feel that you know um someone lives in a colder city climate colder climate climatic region i don't know so this could be yeah you probably live yeah not like north is it i don't know so yeah i'm just hearing something someone has a cat someone has yeah a white cat yeah someone is very giving like you love oh my god i did not whoa okay yeah that i was just so lost in the messages that i was getting from my guides and i did not even see that <laughs> the card that i got for group number one from my guides by the way these are the these cards also i shuffle and like my guides literally give me a card for each pile so i didn't do it like randomly if you know that's what you think um so yeah it's kind of crazy like to see how everything connects um number nine is very significant for you so do keep an eye out for that um if you see that a lot however it's not about like you know um saying like 999 or something how uh, what i feel is there's going to be a change around um november or something changed around november something changed definitely november and september very significant months for you guys something's going to happen or something happened last year um yeah i do see that um yeah so if you're wanting like a new start to something if you're wanting like yeah if you're wanting a new start or like some guidance you're definitely gonna get that i also feel that you are probably like some people are wanting to change uh, some people are wanting to move out of their home like yeah you want to go out i see you have a plan i see you have a plan to do something which requires you to go to a certain place i see um yeah i do see that you are learning something also you want to do some specific task yeah you're very focused about that and you're very excited about it definitely yes this is like a dream of yours i feel like 
you have very strong emotions attached to this. I don't know what this thing is, but you have very strong emotions attached to it. And, um, yeah, that's something I'm sensing. And another thing I'm getting for you guys is you have a decision to make. So, um, this decision could be about career, could be about love, or just, like, anything you know if you want to buy a car so maybe you are stuck between two choices or like if you want to buy a house i don't know but um it has something to do with okay whatever this choice is your emotions are involved in it that's what that's what's striking the most over here um yeah also i'm sensing that if you are the kind of a person like okay here's the thing my guides are saying if you have been struggling with money recently that's going to be sorted out don't worry about that do not okay just relax calm down that is going to be sorted out in a manner where you're just gonna feel abundant and so secure and stable like yeah everything is going to be great so don't worry about finances or stability or any of that any of that okay another thing i'm sensing for you guys summer is a taurus yeah another thing i'm sensing for you guys is summer is a strong person like wow someone is a um someone has probably tanned skin i see dark hair thick long hair beautiful hair i don't know which person is but someone likes to wear lighter color lighter clothes someone yeah this is okay someone's very calm and collected and like they know what they're doing um yeah someone's been someone's quite um skilled in what they do and someone knows a lot about life so, yeah someone knows a lot about life um if you are the kind of a person who is, you know, struggling with money, do not worry. And if you have been, like, working a lot harder and you feel that your work has not been paid off or, like, you're not getting what you deserve, I think you're going to get to a point where you're going to be quite satisfied with everything that you're going to get. And trust me on this, you need to make a decision. And once you do make that, it's going to be all in your favor so do make a decision um you don't have to stay stuck in this energy because i feel things are not really going to move unless you take a decision so you need to take yeah you cannot be like you know stuck in here you have to take a stand for yourself and you need to decide um i know it's hard for you i know it's confusing but you have to decide and once you do um, yeah, you're going to have a realization also that is going to help you decide upon this. Um, I see a lot of you have like goals and a lot of dreams, a lot of things you want to achieve, a lot of wishes. Yes, it feels so good. You're someone likes to watch um, movies, fantasy movies, magic. Someone loves magic and fantasy and like someone probably likes to read children books or like those fairy tales. Someone is very interested. Like someone likes reading those things. I don't know. That's just a random message I got. And um, again and again I'm getting this message about finances. So there is someone that used to struggle. If you are not struggling right now and if you are like um quite abundant and prosperous i would say um someone used to struggle in the past or like still does um whatever the case may be but there was not stability and security regarding money and now there is um or there's going to be if it's not right now um do keep an eye out for 444 four, four if you see that because that is a very important message my guides are literally yeah, they're pushing on it. Um, someone could be a Capricorn. However, 
um someone changed jobs someone switched jobs yeah yeah i do see that and also i feel okay wait, let me see someone has a tattoo um yeah and someone has like marks on their calf okay is it calf yeah yeah i do see that okay so yeah someone has that and someone is having cold right now okay and someone is having someone used to have um like a lot someone used to struggle with expressing their pain and like their sufferings um yeah okay and also i sense that there was something that did not give you joy at all and that was very hard for you to deal with that made you feel like yeah like there was no one to take care of you i don't know there was just a very i just sense like a very hard time in your life that you had to go through and um you really mustered a lot of courage to get out of that situation because yeah and you literally turn your whole life around when you got out of that everything started to change everything and like okay um if this message is resonating with you trust me on this i know like i can see the amount of pain because this experience that you had was not a normal one um i mean yeah it was just i mean it's a normal experience but like it is painful and i want you to know that the universe is with you whoever you believe in the universe your guardian angels your spirit guides of love and light or um you know whoever the divine the creator or the god you know they're with you whoever you believe in and don't worry they have your back and yeah like nothing's going to hurt you yeah to the point where you break down so yeah just relax and you're a very quite you're quite a strong person to be honest and whatever this thing was um it's in the past and i see you're done and over with this thing and i see good times are ahead of you like you've waited for a long time um your experiences have been a bit slow probably um like last year or so um but now things are going to get going to be moving and like you're going to be seeing a lot of things a lot of changes are going to be happening and i see a lot of stability around money and finances so that's all that i'm sensing for you guys and um keep in mind this is your reading so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you in its entirety so um if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is going in the description box below also um do like the video um do give this video a thumbs up because it really truly helps me out and i would really appreciate that and subscribe down below if you haven't already and um hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you chose an option of a second or the frog spirit um these are the cards that i got for you um i feel someone could be a scorpio someone could be a libra which is quite evident um from the cards someone could be an aries um someone's going to be a fixed sign that would be leo taurus scorpio or aquarius someone could be a capricorn yeah a double aquarius for some people and yeah that's what i'm saying um so the first message i'm getting or like the overall vibe of this whole reading i have to admit it it's not the most positive and either you are dealing currently with something which is not so positive or like you've just recently dealt with something and that's what my guides are making me pick up on the most so yeah that's that's something which is quite evident from your reading um i see that there is a turn around of emotions so maybe you used to deal with or you still do deal with someone who like okay 
A situation got burdensome and a situation just did not turn out to be the way you thought it was going to turn out. Um, yeah. And what I am sensing is it just got really burdensome and like, yeah, this could be your soulmate or your twin flame. Um, I don't know. Or this could be a karmic connection. Whatever the case may be, this is the kind of a relationship which, um, which progressed really fast. So everything started happening quite fast and quite quickly. So, um, like you guys met and then after some days, like, you know, it just happened so quick. Everything happened so quick. And the quick, you know, um, the quickly it started and like progressed, um, the pace is what is what is kind of you know baffling me over here because it's very quick um you might you may have met this person like i don't know there's something about distance and yeah there's something about distance in someone's words something some conversation i don't know i feel that okay so some conversation happened and that literally broke everything it broke everything like um so you had like um you know you had hopes and like trust in this person or um you know like things were gonna turn out to be this way and that way and just one thing happened and it kind of broke everything else that's what i'm sensing however if you're not resonating with this message it, it's completely fine i don't know why i'm short I don't know why am I stuttering on my words. Um, please excuse me. I'm not in the, you know, I'm not really feeling the highest, like, you know, I don't know what to say, but like, I'm feeling drained. Please get me. Yeah. Um, but still, I am doing this reading for you guys because, okay, you, you know what? Um, I don't know who is, the situa who is in this situation, but you definitely are not feeling good because that's what is reflected in the reader usually and um you may have dealt with someone whose intentions were not pure and yeah it was not um also a text message i see like a conversation or text message something about the number eight very significant something that came quick and something that went away quick so this was that kind of relationship um if um okay so another message i'm getting for you guys is um yeah so if you have been working for a long time and if you have a burden of like if you have responsibilities on yourself or like i don't know um regarding money and regarding yeah regarding finances there's like a positive i would say scenario because um there's a lot of progress that will happen and plus there's going to be this yeah there's a lot of progress happening in your profession or like whatever you do in your finances actually i don't see a profession i don't see yeah but like okay someone's rich someone's rich like you know by their family background and stuff so maybe yeah I see that and yeah so much quite wealthy and okay so whatever you're gonna do I see that it's going to be quite lucky for you and if you feel that you want to go in this go ahead and I feel that there's a lot of success that is going that is hidden for you in that direction wherever you want to go wherever you're feeling inspired to go so do take that step i would say and let me see another message i'm getting for you is again regarding career so i feel that um someone has been working a lot harder you know yeah someone has worked a lot harder in regards to their profession and for a long time so it's been like a okay i got scared because yeah it was just weird yeah my camera <laughs> um yeah 
so it's been a long time I feel and it's been a so slow progress so whatever work you're doing I feel that it's been like you know you've been doing consistently and like you know you've been doing it for a long time already and um, what I am sensing for you is you have been waiting for that one little moment where yeah you've been waiting for that you know that place wherever you want to be and you have quite not achieved it you've not achieved it yet and I feel that you've been working so 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 hard like literally day in day out like so hard um, I feel that that wait is going to end and okay so whoever in the is in the situation I don't feel that you're gonna believe this right away if you get to know about this because you're gonna be like oh, I've been working for so long you know things I'm not really been like too great in regards to profession or like finances but trust me if you're in this situation and if you resonate with it that yeah you know um, if you do resonate with the fact that you have been working hard towards something for a long time and you've been waiting for something you know to happen or like to reach a certain state I would say like a certain stage um, maybe you wanna buy something maybe you wanna get to or it could just be like in terms of finances that you wanna achieve this goal um, I feel that you're gonna do it yes it's gonna happen so yeah do not worry about that and let me see Okay, um, I am getting like a random message. So someone likes to wake up at night. Yeah, like for... And someone likes to think at night. I mean, it's not that you like to think, but like um, you wake up at night and then you think about certain things. I mean, um, I feel that someone is quite a bit of an overthinker um, when it comes down to their professional life I feel someone could be an earth sign so that would mean um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn yeah I do feel that and also I'm sensing for some of you okay wait a situation ended I feel um, what is this about a situation ended and a new situation is going to begin okay so um, guys um, I just want to say that the video cut off and I have to continue it because the second pile was going on um, so I'm going to be continuing and yeah so I'm sorry if you like you know find this a little bit weird um, okay so um, Okay, so another message I am getting from my Spirit Guides right now is um, there could be a cancer around you or you probably have cancer in your birth chart in the prominent places, some are rising. However, um, I feel some could be a Leo. I feel that um, there's something coming towards you. This could be in regards to your finances, your career, or this could be in regards to a relationship. Uh, this is kind of an offer to be honest but this is coming towards you and for some people whenever you're gonna watch it check when this next um, when the next full moon is going to be I feel something is going to be revealed around that time regarding this offer um, yeah you can just google it however I feel that yeah there is something coming this is a new thing to be honest it's a new job or like it's a new offer or like it's a new person if it's about a relationship i feel and yeah i do see that and wow it could be another sign coming towards you um towards virgo capricorn or this person can have earth sign tendencies someone has a deep skin tone like a deeper complexion someone um yeah I do see that something about okay so this person wears something on their wrist I don't know what this thing is it's like a red red color um I don't know um 
yeah this person in something it's like a necklace maybe in the neck um this person comes from a place which is um quite rich in tradition and culture also um yeah i do see that okay so one thing about you both is that whoever this person is you both are going to be very different in regards to your upbringing so maybe one person's going to have um strict parents and the other person's going to have um i don't know it's like different okay so you both are going to have like there's not going to be much similarity in regards to how you both have been brought up and for some people you're literally going to get married um this is coming into your life very soon so congrats um and this could be with the scorpio um yeah i do see some of the scorpio over here um light hair um and very pale skin someone has very pale skin and someone likes okay wait let me see someone likes pumpkins yeah yeah i do see that okay someone has freckles i do see that too and and someone likes to wait uh someone likes to watch um no wait <laughs> someone likes to watch fairy tale movies so you know how this disney and disney movies i guess so that um yeah so this could be one thing that's coming into your life yeah this for some people honestly like for a very few of you um another message that i am getting for you is a fire signs coming into your life um leo sagittarius or aries um yeah they're coming towards you and this person is very talkative is that talkative no okay so this person is going to be very um how do i say um blunt and like oh okay okay so my spirit guides are saying that this person is going to be very um bold in regards to how they're going to express themselves so this person is not going to be shy do i expect them to be shy no they're not shy whatsoever someone has arched eyebrows i see that and someone is very interested in mythology or like um how do i say um someone is very interested in uh fantasy magic and all those things yeah I'm, i keep hearing the word fantasy yeah i do see that this person is it could be that they have a lot of fantasies with you or to be honest um this could be one of the things however if you meet a fire sign who seems very established i don't know what they mean by established but whatever comes to your mind when i say established is what my guides mean so it could be in regards to work it could be in regards to their life if they have everything in their life sorted out i don't know so it depends it varies from person to person if you meet a fire sign who is established um you know now my guides are saying that this could be um uh, the one this could be someone who you can think about like spending the rest of your life with this could be your life partner and yeah i do see this um like this you know connection growing into something so much more so yeah that's a very beautiful indication right there um yeah you both are from different countries i see yeah yes i know okay so you might meet someone who is a foreigner maybe i don't know so yeah, that's what i am sensing for you guys and i hope you all liked it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up it really truly means a lot to me and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and also do keep in mind that the journal reading is not going to resonate with every single one of you and if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below 
thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so um if you choose an option number third or the b spread um these are the cards that i got for you um i got the three of cups six of wands um three of swords the queen of swords and at the bottom of the deck i got the three of wands so three is a very significant number i would say for you guys and um yeah so let's see what's coming in for you very very soon okay you might meet someone who is going to have their son in sagittarius or taurus um or they could be a leo however regardless of that i feel that you are going to get if not a person this message could be about you getting some clarity on a specific topic where you did not have you did not have clarity towards i don't know what this thing is about honestly but this could be in regards to um a relationship this could be in regards to your career um so yeah um this could be in regards to that but regardless i feel you're just going to get some clarity if you're feeling confused if you feel like um it's a lot of struggle to decide on something um number 5 is very significant if you see 55 a lot um 555 a lot uh, that means that yeah you're going to get this uh, some kind of revelation or like some kind of a some kind of a realization a revelation or like an epiphany is going to hit you i feel yeah uh, the universe or your guardian angels or like your spirit guides are going to deliver a message towards you um yeah i do see that yes um it could be in a dream also to be honest yeah something about a rainy day maybe something about shower maybe you like taking showers um or maybe you will get clarity during okay maybe you'll get clarity while you will take a shower so yeah that's interesting so that could be it for some people because for some people showers are quite relaxing they are but yeah another thing and yeah there's a lot of confusion okay so whoever is dealing with confusion regarding whatever situation is going on in your life and if you feel stuck if you feel that things are not moving forward if you feel defeated if you feel not so positive uh, the energies around you the energy that you're feeling and sensing it's just not good it's just like you just don't want this you know you want something better and you want like a yeah you're just not liking the vibe of the whole situation i feel you're going to get past that very very soon i feel yeah it could just be that probably this um the time this month or like this time period is going a bit stressful for you i know like this confusion and all i know whatever you're facing with you're dealing with it's going to be sorted out so do not worry oh my god i I just cannot believe but number 7 is so 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 significant um there is a strong significance to this number for this reading specifically so if it's an option number 1 uh, sorry option number 3 what am i saying yeah forgive me <laughs> but i would say is that whoever you are um you could be a scorpio you could be an aries or these people could be around you there is so much about this confusion there is so much okay so um the thing is something is happening in your life and you're confused about it or there's just too much confusion going on you cannot see what's going to okay so there's a situation which is foggy and you're not able to see clearly what's going to come after that i feel yeah you're not able to see the like consequences or like the repercussions of a particular situation or relationship or yeah you could be an aries you could be a scorpio um for some people um watching this you could have a problem with being patient yeah i do see that also something is ending in your life it's it's an incident or it's like a okay here's the thing something is ending and then a new adventure is beginning for some people you're switching homes you are changing cities you are 
probably leaving a city and coming back to your home or you are leaving your city and going to another um, to settle down in a different place I don't know so this could be there's something about traveling to be honest um, yeah there's something about traveling something about starting a new life also um, yeah yeah I do see that so yeah that's something I am sensing also I would say when okay so one of the things you can do for this confusion to be honest is when you go to sleep and don't just listen it and then you know it's not it should not be like you just listen to it and then you're not gonna do it ever try doing it okay and try doing it at least for a week and you'll see the difference so yeah it's not long you know just a week time weeks time just give it that so i would say um before you fall asleep um if you are like you know willing enough to do the things like just to lighten your mood just to change the energy around you trust me this is just gonna work miraculously what you can do is you can just take a piece of paper and and like a pen and a notebook and you can just write down things that you're grateful for it's just like a very basic thing but it does wonders to our mood or you, what you can do is um i'm sure you must have heard of visualization i don't know but sleeping with that clogged up energy you know like uh, that energy which just you know you're just thinking about negative things like what things went um today like you know what things happened today and like um how it did not please you and stuff like that is that is not a good way you know you're just gonna invite those kind of energies more and more and that's just not good trust me on that so i would say try clearing that up a little bit yes for some people meditating might work so if you cannot do all these things just relax like take five minutes take uh, like do deep breathing like some kind of a breathing exercise or anything that makes you feel relaxed and think about the positive things that happened today if you know if you don't want to put too much effort um, but try including something that makes you feel good about your life about yourself and about the people around you and that is I feel you're going to change a lot of things. So either do the notebook thing, write it down, or take mental notes. Um, uh, I feel that notebook works the best, but yeah. Someone could be a Virgo, um, and someone could be a Taurus. You probably have some kind of a fear regarding... Okay. For some of you, you have a fear regarding a relationship, or like that it's not going to survive, or something. You have a fear regarding something, like, I don't know what this is about, honestly. Um, yeah, it's a strong fear. It's something that really bothers you at night. I can see that. And, yeah, this thing, it's weird. Um, yeah, whoever you are, um, I can feel that whatever this thing is you're so worried about it you can't stop thinking about it and this fear has gotten so deep inside of you um i would say um okay i don't know literally i i don't know what advice would be the best for this situation but like you know as i said sleeping with a thing that is like bugging you bothering you it's never gonna help you, you know, sleeping with those negative thoughts inside a head. So try clearing this out somehow, um, but for this reading, I have to deliver the message, and I'm afraid to say, if you're fearing something, um, uh, I don't know what to say, but like, it might happen if you fear, if you're fearing that a relationship is not gonna survive, or if you fear that you're gonna get you're gonna get into an argument with someone that might be like that might happen i don't know and be very careful about what you speak because yeah just be very aware of everything around you and that's going on in your life because i feel that yeah someone could be a leo 
or you could be connecting with a Leo or a fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. Um, someone's very spiritually inclined. Someone likes to do. Someone, yeah, someone's intuition and yeah, intuition is quite uh, like how to say heightened. Yeah. So you're gonna be meeting up with someone who is very kind. I feel very cute. <laughs> I don't know. I just came out of nowhere. Very kind, compassionate, and cute. So yeah, that's adorable. I don't know who this person is, but they just have a very cute energy. I feel that. Yeah. So adorable. They could be a Leo. Yes. This person, oh my god, they're so innocent. I know, but like, such an innocent vibe this person has. They're going to be so pure, trust me, so pure. It's like they haven't even seen the world completely. It seems so, wow, I'm just like mesmerized. <laughs> That's so adorable. And, um, okay, so what is coming into your life very, very soon? Another message I'm getting for you is, um, okay. For some people, if you're getting, if you've been getting like a lot of offers lately in love, um, yeah, if you've been getting like a lot, a lot of offers, but like none of them really fits the bill and you're like, oh no, I don't want that. I want something else. You might actually get what you are desiring in love, especially. So yeah, um. Be careful what you wish for because it is bound to come true. Yeah, I feel that this could be one of your wishes or manifestations. If you have a manifestation or like a wish regarding your love life, um, that is coming true. I see that. Yes. Yeah, I see that. I know I have a blushing my lip. Yeah. So nine days nine weeks or nine months yeah this wish of yours is gonna come true nine something about the number nine and let me see something about a water sign pisces cancer scorpio and someone's feelings they're going to be revealed to you and i bet you don't know like the extent and um, I'm also sensing that someone's going to come into your life. Um, oh my god. Okay. So someone has been holding their feelings in for you. Okay. So someone's in love with you, I feel. And that person's been holding those, all of those feelings inside. And that's so crazy because it's too much pressure for this person, to be honest. And this person is finally gonna reveal it to you but it's taking literally every single ounce of courage that this person has to reveal everything to you um pay attention to the songs that you hear around you there's this particular song my guides are saying or songs that are going to hit you like, a, like in a different manner or you guides are literally just going to be introducing you to new songs just pay attention to the songs that you hear like around you and stuff um they are quite yeah literal of what this person feels for you so yeah do pay, pay attention to that um yes this person could be this person could be an air sign Gemini libra queries regardless of that um i feel that this person has a hard time expressing so, okay, this is literally like a bit shocking because I don't feel that this person is that type. But I think their feelings are just going out of bounds. As I said, that you can't even imagine the extent to which the person... Oh, so that's the pressure. Okay, I got that. Yeah. So that's the pressure this person is feeling. And yeah, you are going to... This person is going to confront you anytime soon. So be prepared for that, I would say. 
yes someone is coming towards you this person has made up their mind already so someone's name could start from T or S or P even um, yeah so it could be a Gemini or this person will express their love to you around Gemini season well could be um, someone's quite romantic Someone likes to wear blue and someone likes to wear yellow. Yeah, I do see that. This person is so emotional. I can't. Does this person have only water signs in their birth chart? Yeah, definitely. This person, okay, if not all, but like this person is definitely going to be, um, this person's birth chart is definitely going to be, you know, having a lot of water signs placed heavily in the prominent places so that would be some rising and the water signs are Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Um, I feel Pisces and Scorpio the most and let me see yeah this person is like serious for you already so yeah that is something another thing I'm sensing and who this person is because all the messages about are about this person. Yeah. And okay. Is this someone who you rejected in the past? Or like um yeah, this is someone or like this person is probably just overthinking stuff right now. Maybe they're just fearing that you're going to reject this person it could be that to be honest and yeah if that is the thing i don't know this person is like just taking so much time because they are kind of fearing that they're gonna get rejected from you eventually so that could be one of the someone is going to be a scorpion like come on <laughs> i see that and The time is up. I hear. Yeah. My guys are saying the time is up. And this person is just gonna come bombarding towards you anytime soon. I don't know who this person is. I don't know whose situation am I reading into. But this person is literally. They're not like they're not planning on surprising you or like shocking you but this will come as a shocker i feel for you it's going to be a shocker yes yeah i don't think you're expecting this to be honest yeah something is going to literally completely um turn around yeah completely let me see anything else coming towards you. Um, in regards to finances, I feel okay. There's going to be a celebration. Um, you are going to make a goal for yourself, and you're going to achieve all of them. Yeah, that's that's something I'm sensing. Um, okay, so my guides are uh, literally like asking you guys to make goals, and not just in not just in your mind, but like literally write down what your goals are in regards to money. At least seven goals, and like what do you want, and um, where do you want yourself to be. This could be in regards to the upcoming seven months, or like the upcoming seven weeks. I don't know whatever suits you best, or like just seven goals in general. Um, they don't have to be time specific or anything, but do make those because once you do, I feel that you're going to achieve them if you have not done that already. If you are the kind of person who makes goals already, so yeah, that's off to you. Um, you already do that, but this is just a message I'm getting from my guides. It's going to literally help you out a lot. I also feel that if you're uh, like, you know, if you're kind of craving or like not craving but like what's going to be the right word for this if you're wanting a stability or like a solid um 
foundation in regards to your finances and you're like oh i want things to be secure i want to feel secure in regards to money trust me you're gonna achieve that yes you are going to um if you're watching pile number three do not at all worry about finances do not at all like literally don't mm, the color yellow and green is going to be lucky for you i don't know um that's something i'm sensing and red also i'm sensing someone's going to be a fixed sign so that would mean aquarius leo um taurus and what's the last one aries taurus leo not aries <laughs> oh my god not aries but if i've said so yeah um taurus leo scorpio and aquarius yeah so these could be people around you or you could have this as your you know as your sun moon rising i feel that if you have like a fixed sign around you they're lucky for you my guides are saying yes they are lucky for you and they have like good intentions for you and they want to support you yeah they really care for you yeah if you have like a fixed sign yes especially a scorpio if you have a scorpio please 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 look out for that um and if you yourself is a what sign if you yourself are a what sign um or like if you um if you have like a person in mind who is a what sign or like if you are a what sign i don't know my guides are saying literally that they or you whoever it is um you or them one of you is going to have a new beginning in your life like some kind of a new thing like a new beginning or like a new relationship something new yeah it could be a new relationship is waiting for them yeah it's just waiting on the horizon and if this is a scorpio uh and i have to admit the relationship is going to be quite fiery quite a lot yes yes yeah i okay i'm getting jealous <laughs> but it's okay yeah be aware of that if you're a scorpio or if you have a scorpio in mind who's very close to you yes they're gonna have like a re um i don't know why the word revamp is coming to mind i don't even know what that is yeah so is a sagittarius um if you're too focused about work i feel like you should take some time out and you should just be a little bit moderate in regards to that yeah i do feel that it's just relax a little bit my guides are saying don't overwork yourself don't yeah don't do that and if you're the kind of a person who's an overthinker do not overthink please don't please it's so harmful for your mind don't do that indulge yourself in anything like whatever you desire or whatever pleases you but don't overthink and let me see also um listen to the song hold on i think i believe it's by um i don't know who the singer is i don't know i don't remember but it's hold on the song is hold on i think you should google it you'll find it and yeah so okay let me see so it's coming towards you if you Yes. Someone's going to have their moon sign in in an earth sign. So that would mean Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, they're super slow. They're a bit lazy. Yeah. And Okay, this could be in regards to the message that I was giving in the very, very beginning. So this is that person who's going to express their feelings towards you. It could be that or it could just be someone who is coming towards you and you are not aware of it. Yes, this could be someone from the past. But I don't feel that though. 
This could be a new person. Okay, no, this could be from the past also. So, someone's coming towards you. Um, be ready for a message. You might receive an unexpected message from someone. So, yeah, that's all. I'm sensing for the group number three. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind this is your reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. And if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.